Alright guys, we're in. Here are all the games we're trading in. There's actually games behind as well. What is up internet? Retro here and welcome back to another episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a journey to build a video game collection, starting off with just a $10 bill to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. We're about to get into it pretty quick this week, guys, but before we do, I wanted to highlight a channel that I have been watching here as of late, probably for about the last six months or so. A great channel, criminally underrated. That channel is MC Murr. So he collects video games, but he is a buyer, seller, flipper of video games uh, as well. That's how he has built his collection. And I like his channel for a couple different reasons. The first one is he's hilarious. He is a character. You're gonna be entertained the entire time you watch his videos and you're gonna be educated at the same time I also like how he takes you through the entire process of how he has built his video game collection you see him go out there and buy this stuff bring it back to the house sell it clean it up and then and then flip those items if he doesn't need them for his collection so I highly recommend his channel I'm gonna link it down below uh, let's blow him out of the water y'all he has no idea that I'm even doing this and I think we can get him dare I say a thousand two thousand more subs this community is awesome he deserves more subscribers so so make sure to go check out his his channel and then also if you are new to this channel and you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia everything from retro video games movies toys and more uh, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button every single Monday and Thursday we are coming uh, out with new retro nostalgic type videos and I don't want you guys to miss it let's get into it Let's get into our update of the $10 game collection. We have quite a few updates uh, in this week's episode. The first one is we left off with, I think, $358 in the game fund, and we sold everything that was left in the eBay store. So we sold another Skylanders, I think Imaginators. I always get them, I always get them mixed up. Uh, I think it's Imaginators. We sold that for $16. Then we sold... Uh, our last copy of that for 16, at least the last copy that we had listed. And then that um, Xbox, original Xbox game that was loose, just disc only of Curse, the Eye of Isis sold for like 58 bucks, something crazy. And then the price is right on DVD, the best of the price is right, sold for like $38. So after eBay fees, we net this for a grand total of this in the game fund, plenty plenty of money in the game fund, which is good. Uh, the next update is, you're probably thinking, Rick, you finally cleaned this whole area of the $10 game collection. How'd you do it? How'd you find more space? Well, I actually did not. Guys, we have actually significantly downsized the $10 game collection. I'm gonna get into all of that here in a minute, but that is why there is more space here. I had two options, basically one, to find more shelves or, or more space for shelves in here, but as you can see, that's not really an option. Uh, and then the, the next option was to um, get rid of some games. So that's what I did. I went through all of our games and basically took down all of the doubles that we had of games. Like I think we had three or four Kingdom Hearts games. And then any of the, of, of the schlock, the cheese, the stuff that just wasn't gonna sell very well or it just doesn't really belong in, in the $10 game collection. Like, it's just games that aren't great. Uh, and again, it's these, those games that are like 10 and under. It's like, they're not worth putting on eBay. So we're gonna trade all of them into um, the, the game store in town. It's called Game Point, not GameStop. I always get them confused. It's actually called Game Point. And then here, let me switch this light around over here. Oh, that's, that's better. So here we go. This is all of the stuff we're about to trade in. So again, it's like, you know, Pac-Man World 2, we have that, Kingdom Hearts, Burnout, like a lot of these games that just don't have very much value, but 
we can get some decent money in trading credit. So uh, here's we have a couple different options um, when it comes to trading in game. So the game store game point actually gives you pretty good trading credit. So uh, I think I, I estimated that all right here we have like $150 invested into this stuff. You know, most games we get for a dollar or two dollars, but there's a lot of games in here we got for like a nickel. Right? Remember, you guys remember that one lot of games that we got for 20 bucks and there was like a hundred games in it. Like we have you know, a, a dime into all of these. Like we have nothing into some of these. So conservatively about $150 uh, in total that we have invested. And my hope is that we're gonna get about, I hope we, we at least double up. I would love to get 300 at least, 400 and up what I would be stoked about. So here are our options when it comes to trading in games. Number one, this is the worst option in my opinion, is to get cash. If you get cash, they're going to take off a large percentage of what they could give you in store credit. And I'm all about building the game collection the most uh, efficient way possible. So we are not going to get cash. Cash is not going to be the way we're going to do it. Number two is we can get in store credit and buy some of those mid tier games that, you know, I'm thinking I'm thinking about some of the Mario games, some of those types of games that are 20 to 40 bucks. Those are those are good games to get with trading in these types of games, games that don't have a lot of value uh, and aren't really worth keeping in uh, in your collection. Uh, number three is you can store up your in-store credit and get those big heavy hitter titles, those $80, $100, even $200 games. And that is the way that I've gotten a lot of my games. Like over here, you see my, my Chrono Trigger. I got this at the game point, the store we're about to go to here in a bit by trading in a bunch of games that I didn't really, I didn't really need. I didn't really want, I didn't have much invested into them. So that's just another way to get those big ticket items is by trading in a ton of these games that just aren't worth uh, too much. And then the last option, and I've done this a lot of times, I don't think we're going to in our situation, but I will buy those large big hit, those big hitters and I will actually sell that game on eBay. So that makes it a lot easier rather than listing all of these games. It's gonna take a ton of time to put all of these online and get $5 here, four bucks here, seven bucks here. You just put all of the, or you trade all of these in and you get one or two big ticket items and you sell just those. Uh, and then you can get, you know, a, a two, two, three hundred dollar game and get that, get that cash pretty quick to then put back into your game collection. So we're not going to do that because we have plenty of funds at this point. So again, I'm hoping for at least, at least 300, um, 400 on the high end or, or even more potentially. We've got a bunch of controllers, all these controllers we paid next to nothing for, you know, anywhere from like three to $4. So I'm going to trade all of this stuff in very shortly, but for now, we still got to go hunt first. I will bring these uh, into the game store here in just a bit. But for now, let's go hunt. Okay, first stop of the day. First Goodwill, first flea market. Have not went anywhere else yet. And we scored some games. Nothing insane, but there are games here. And they're, they're unmarked. So two bucks each. Madden 16. You now a lot of these sports games on like PS4, Xbox One. They just don't have any value at all. So I, I skip most of these. Even for two bucks, I probably should get them. Just because we don't have those in the collection, but I'm just not really interested in collecting those. Uh, NBA Live 06, Motion Sports. I actually don't ever see this Connect Xbox 360 game, but going to pass on that. We always see Connect Adventures. And then here, we got two games. Got Spider Man with a really cool. Uh, I'm all ears Shrek sticker <laughs> uh, This one is complete and in pretty good shape other than the case you can always switch out this case with a better case and then uh, Street volume three. We don't have this we have one and two I believe but we don't have this one yet and for two dollars complete is a really good deal I actually really love this game played it a ton back in the day. So two games for four bucks great pickup All right, I wanna show you guys the reality of game hunting. So what you guys see on the channel is a highlight reel. 
I know I don't talk about, very, about it very much. You guys just see the finds, but this is a really good example. So first off, this Goodwill is like trashed. I don't know why it looks like this, but um, this is kind of a typical day, right? Kung Fu Panda, Sing It, <laughs> We Fit, and Just Dance 2. So that's it in terms of games. I did find one DVD though, this one. I've never seen this before. There's like a double pack. Uh, Rugrats the movie and then Rugrats in Paris, but check this out. So last one of this, um, this copy sold for 30. But check out how scratched this disc is. I don't know if I've ever seen a disc scratch that wow. bad. Good night. That's $30 if it wasn't completely ruined, but that is what more of a typical day at Goodwill looks like. You guys see the highlight reel. I don't always show you the junk, but it happens all the time. Okay, got some stuff to walk through. The first are these VHS. I wasn't even gonna film. I'm just, you know, I stopped in real quick uh, to Goodwill, just looking around and I found some VHS. Didn't find any games at all. Found a Rugrats Christmas VHS. These are all just from my personal collection. A Batman and Robin Two-Face VHS. So, you know, two pretty good ones. And then I found this freaking Street Sharks VHS. Guys, I've never found a Street Sharks VHS ever in my times of hunting. And this one is like foil and beautiful and I'm amped. I'm just pumped to finally found one uh, and it's gonna look great on the shelf. So uh, there were those, nothing to do with the $10 game collection. But then here is an Atari flashback. Now we have one of these. Um, we got, I don't know, maybe two months ago or so. Um, but it does not have the controller to pair uh, to pair the um, controller to the, the flashback. I think we only have controller two. Just to buy the first controller, it's like eight to 10 bucks. So not worth it. Um, but this one right here is complete in the box with, you know, the, um, the hookups and both controllers and it's boxed for $9.59. So I'm just gonna get this to add this to the $10 game collection and then we will figure out what to do with the other one so a good day both the flashback and some killer vhs to add to my personal collection let's go all right at the pawn shop where they do older games for three dollars buy two get one free found two games we got ultra street fighter uh three bucks is good on this i think it sells for around 15 or so. So I'm gonna pick this up. And then here is, I've never seen this one before. This is Scrapland. Don't know, but also sells for like 15 to 20. So it's buy two, get one free, but I cannot find, I literally can't find another game to get. Ah, there's just nothing really. I mean, y'all are seeing it. PS3 up there. Anything that's even remotely close to getting is too scratched. I literally think I'm gonna get this SpongeBob U Draw game. I can't find anything else. I'm gonna keep looking, but for now, I, I've got these two. I'm almost thinking about just getting just these and not worrying about the free game, but I'll keep looking. Solid stop at this pawn shop, guys. We got two games here. Uh, the first one is Scrapland for the original Xbox. I have never seen this one before. It looked a little uncommon. Looked it up. It's ranging from about $18 to $25. Um, I don't know anything about this. Y'all tell me down in the comments if Scrapland is any good. It definitely looks intriguing. Uh, it is complete and in really great shape. And then we got uh, Street Fighter 4. This is Ultra Street Fighter 4. Uh, IGN gives it a 9 out of 10, so that's good. Um, I love all the Street Fighter games. I've never played this one specifically, but did they make a bad Street Fighter game? I don't think so, man. This is also selling for around 15 to 20. So we're looking at roughly 35 to 40 in value right here. And um, they do on the older games, three bucks each, buy two, get one free. But I could not find a game. I literally could not find a third game to get for free. And I wasn't gonna just pick up some crappy game that wasn't worth anything. So I brought these up there. I told him, yeah, I couldn't find another one. He said, well, let's just do two bucks each. So four out the door. For these two so a good stop at the pawn shop happy to uh, to add these uh, two to the ten dollar game collection on to the next all right we're at the goodwill where they have literally no games anymore no games at all unfortunately uh but i found one dvd that we're gonna get this is small wonder 
uh, the complete first season. I have never seen this before. Don't know what it is. It looks like maybe like a s late 70s, 80s show. Not sure, but uh, knew that it was obscure. Looked it up and it's looking like it's off around 22 bucks unmarked, so $2. We'll get that. I did see another DVD right here. This is one that I've picked up before in the past and have done well, but it's, it's actually went down a little bit. This one used to sell for like around 15. It sells for around nine or 10. So after you pay two, you pay eBay, you, you, know, you factor in shipping it and maybe $5 profit. So I'm gonna pass on that, but I'm gonna pick up a small wonder for two bucks. All right, guys, we have made it to Game Point. I don't know if you can see it right there, but about to trade in this whole tub and this box full of games. Hopefully we do well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay the whole time. It's gonna take them quite a bit of time to go through this stuff. And I got some other things I need to do, but we will look around a little bit. Hopefully we do good on all of this stuff. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in. Here are all the games we're trading in. There's actually games behind as well. And they're actually thinking it's not gonna to take too long to get through those, so. I'll look around for a little bit. I usually always uh, stop right here first is the GameCube stuff. In case you haven't seen this store yet, check this out. This is wild. Look at that, that Link figure. My favorite my favorite thing is probably this Hulk. Check this thing out. I mean, it is ginormous. This is from the movie theater that was, uh, or used to be open right over here. Huge Hulk. And yeah, this store is amazing. I'm gonna do a full game tour uh, of this store at some point. So the first place I usually look is all this GameCube stuff. It's actually a pretty good price on, on Sunshine. Might, might get that. Everything else is mainly sports stuff and then they got a pretty decent Wii U, Wii U collection. So I'm gonna look, I'll look through those here in just a minute. I don't see this one too often. Mario and Sonic London 2012 and then some random games over here. This uh, this spot right here has some of the better PS2 games. So that's the one I'm always telling you guys to look out for. NCAA 11, that sells really well. Let's see what else is in here. I don't see this one very often, Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh, yeah, so some pretty decent games through there. Let's go look at the cartridge based games. Ooh, I see a couple box games right off the bat, y'all. So I think it's it's not Rystar, it's Ristar. I don't know how to say that, but this is what I'm talking about. This is the situation where there's heavy hitters, man. Ooh, those are sweet. So that Gargoyles is the actual uh, cardboard box one. The one we have, I think, is not the original. It's a reproduction case, but... That's sweet. That right there is saucy, and so is that Bloodlines. Ooh, I'd love to have that. If that has the manual, that might be that might be the big ticket item that we want. And then here are a bunch of pretty normal, common SNES games. The music is always so good in here. I don't know if you guys, guys can hear that. Ooh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is great. That Batman and Robin too. Okay, see this is what I'm saying. Every once in a while, they get some box games that are amazing. And then here are all of the NES games. Don't see that Three Studios one very often. Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics 2, that's a good one. A Boy and His Blob, don't see that one too terribly often. So there's another good one. Shatterhand, great game if you've never played that check that one out. I actually just got Journey to Silius in my personal collection not too long ago. So there's some stuff here. There's definitely some stuff here to look through. So I'm going to check some prices on some of these. And obviously we still got to wait to see what we're going to get uh, in terms of in-store credit, but definitely options, definitely options today. All right. wanted to show you guys all these PS2 games too. Look at these. Look at all these Gundam games. I never, ever see those. Dragon Quest, Monster Rancher, and then she just pulled out all these as well. I mean, they are 
crispy, crispy, clean, man. Look at that. Never seen these. Amazing. Beautiful. Is it all the same person that yeah. brought most of these? They all have the boot. Just the unloaded boot. their collection, man. I love it. Hey, Will, when you get a chance, can I see these boxed uh, Genesis games? Yeah. Those three, and then the uh, Batman and Robin down there. Let's go check the manuals on them. Increasing. Okay. Uh, the game looks really good on this one, and the manual looks great, so this will probably be a pickup. Sorry, it's so dark. It's crazy. So, probably that one. Ah, probably this one, too. Probably that one as well. I mean, I don't know how, how much we're going to get, but I was interested in this one. It's amazing. So potentially this one as well. I'll just see how much we're gonna get. That's like 400 plus right there. So have no idea. Gonna pass on this one since we we already have the game. Don't really need don't really need it. So let's see where we're at. And we're looking at these three right here. So here are all the games that they can't take. Just either scratched. They have too many of them. And then these controllers down here. They all worked, but there was like one thing wrong with them. Like I think that PS2 controller, that button is stuck. A little bit of drift on both of those controllers. So they both, you know, they work, but can't trade them in. So about to get a total here in just a little bit on all of our stuff. All right, you ready? Hit me. It's 440, 440. 440. 444. $444. Okay. Okay. Let me see those Genesis games that I pulled out right there. I think I actually have a couple punches on my card too. Okay. Yeah, and you know there's no taxes on your right. credit. So I'm thinking right now, I'm definitely gonna get this one. 200, I know it seems crazy, but thinking about that. Bloodlines, Batman and Robin. So I'll be at 430 right there have a little over 10 bucks okay I'm gonna get these two I gotta spend 10 more someplace yeah so you still have 14.42 okay okay have 14 bucks left I think I'm going to get River City Ransom um, I'll tell you why in a minute but that is super clean so we'll owe 26 bucks yes. on top of that. So probably gonna get that. Okay, are you ready then? I am, I'm gonna get that, that game, and then- uh, and These two games? The two, yeah, two, two box ones. So I'll owe you a little bit. 27.90. Guys, this is exactly how you do it. This is how you add those killer titles, those heavy hitter titles to your collection without paying those prices because they're expensive, man. They're really expensive nowadays, and that is how you get rid of a lot of those games that they're just not worth selling. So we got, you know, close to I think $450 for all of those games. So let's just say I could have sold those for say 600 bucks, 600, and then eBay is going to take roughly 90 bucks uh, for their fees. Let's just say 100. So now you're at 500. Think about the time it would have taken to list all of those games. It was not worth the extra 50 bucks we would have got to sell all those games individually. So that, that's what I've always done. You take those games that, that are always like under the $10 mark or so, you, you trade those in and then you actually get games that you wanna add to your collection. So the first one we got, guys, I think it's Ristar. I think that's how you say it. I've always said Ristar. Totally wrong, probably, but this is a super fun platformer. I had this on one of my like Sega plug and plays, I believe, but uh, the box is pretty good, especially being cardboard. They made these Genesis games um, back in the day uh, where they weren't like the hard clamshells in these 
in these cardboard boxes and they always got smashed. So cool to get this one. And then Castlevania Bloodlines. My gosh, guys, amazing game. To get both of these complete is wild. For trading in games we didn't even care about, amazing. And then we got, I don't know if it's my favorite NES game. It's definitely my top five for sure. Probably top three. That's River City Ransom. And this thing is super, super clean, guys. Love this game. Glad to add this to the collection. So you guys tell me, what would you have done in that situation? Do you do you not care to take the time and to make you know some extra money on some of those games? Or would you have traded them in as well? Uh, I, I'm super happy with what we got. But guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, it helps out tremendously to the channel. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.